What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm excited to say that today I finally hit the 139s. You guys saw my way in this morning. I hit 139.8. I'm the lowest I've officially ever been and my goal is to lose like two to three ish more pounds until we go to Hawaii which is right around the corner. But we're headed to the shop today and guys Devin did something really cool to my car and you guys can see it all in depth over on his channel. So we're gonna head to the shop and we're gonna show you Gary. So I bet you guys can guess what Devin did to Gary. So follow me. Black. We had a really hard choice between black stickers or white stickers. I went with the black just because I felt like it matched everything on the car. But this is obviously powder coat. Devin did it two days ago. Yesterday. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. We ceramic coated them so the stickers will stay on. I feel like this is going to make Gary pop so much more. I feel like we've been talking about doing this for, what, a year now? And we finally did it. So Devin and I are gonna bleed the brakes and then we're gonna put some wheels on it and see what it looks like down on the ground. Really, really quick before we get into showing you what my STI looks like, we are going to be installing some gauges and I've been helping him with a little bit of the wiring. Yeah. And right now we're gonna go get a cabin air filter for my car. I don't know if you guys ever check yours. I've never checked any of my cars in my whole life, but um, you know, I'd highly recommend it because mine was really, really dirty. And if you don't know where it's at, just Google it. That's how, that's, I literally learned that when I, you know. You know what's more important than the cabin air filter? What? The air filter for the engine because it doesn't really matter if you're breathing bad air, but if your engine's breathing, be, breathing bad air, no, not happening. <laughs> I would so. check both. So it's like the air that comes out of these things. You want that to be clean. Mine was full of pollen and bugs. Shit. And just like shit, yeah, dust and you stuff. You said a bad word. You said a bad word. So we're gonna go get that. I think at um, Napa O'Reilly's. I'm sure O'Reilly's is probably got one. O'Reilly's, and then we might go get a coffee. I got my Lotus. There's only a Lotus club soda and heavy whipping cream, so it's not even that bad. <laughs> what? Heavy whipping cream? Yeah, I splurged a little bit. Okay, but guys, I was looking up online like where the Evo's air filters were at and the STI's and they're both in the same area. So I, I kind of feel like they're in the same area in all cars. Wow, but you're doing a better tutorial than me. I just want to show you guys the difference. Are you going to have them breathe the air? No. Oh, old one, new one. Sheesh. They're slightly, oh, they're just like that. There you go. Look at that. Nuts. That's and then it just glides right on in. It's just behind this guy right here. The glovey box? Yeah. Glided right in. Otter? Yeah, I wanna look at your snow boom. Have fun. I wanna look at all the cars. While Devin's wiring the rest of my car up for the gauges, I was just curious because this car we've had the longest, I think. So I was just curious and this thing is so nasty, you guys. Let's see. I just can't. Honey, that's so bad. But he said he's not gonna go back to the store right now to get one for his car, so looks like I gotta put this dirty thing back in. But guys, I would just highly recommend checking your air filter. This one just goes right back in here. Okay, Devin just got done wiring up the gauges. So we have two gauges, one right there, one over here, and we have the gauge mount at home. So later tonight, we're just gonna mount these right onto the steering wheel. I believe right over here. Last but not least, I've been waiting for this for quite some time. These pieces right here, if you guys can guess really quick where they go. These guys, they're just adding a little bit of like, what's the word? Like swag color to the engine bay. So I have these like, what is this? Like felt pieces right here. So we're gonna be replacing it with that red piece. We have one for the other side. One's gonna be going right here and one's gonna be going right here. When we pull this car out, I will show you guys what the wheels and the brakes look like all together. Yeah. 
we've got all the parts on the car and I feel like they just cleaned up the engine bay so much. We ended up taking off this like stock air, um, what did I call it? Air induction suction coffee cup. Yes, Devin, what you said. But also we just took off of this because it was hitting the BOV, which is right over here. I feel like this looks so good and it also matches my brakes. Babe, can we pull it outside so I can show them the brakes? As soon as I'm done with my lunch time. Where's your lunch? Right here. Is everything gonna fit? like the red brakes on the car. I feel like everything kind of just flows together now. I just got done at the gym, same with Devin. He's right over there in his truck. And if you guys have been following me along with my diet, which is done in like literally three days, maybe four days. Yeah, I think it's three days. My goal is to lose 10 pounds and I've lost nine pounds so far. So I'm right on track, hoping to lose um, a pound or two in the next few days. Devin and I are still walking this huge, huge hill every single night. We actually skipped it last night because we were working on this car so late at night. We didn't have the time. And I told Devin I did not want to walk it tonight because it's late again. What time is it? It's 9.20 at night right now, but he convinced me that we need to walk it. So we're here. I don't want to walk it, but I got to get it done. So I'll meet you guys at the top. <laughs> I just come here to piss Bobby off because she doesn't like to run, and I do. <laughs> Whoa! Guys, we're going all the way up that mountaintop. Okay, guys, we made it to the top. So pretty up here. <sighs> Devin ran pretty much the whole entire way. He had like one mini break. That's my goal in life, you know. Oh. If I have one goal, it's just to run from the bottom to the top. Oh. Whoa! The next morning. We have a slight issue. What? What's up? Here's the problem out of hand. Access port mount. Okay. We need an Allen wrench. Allen wrenches we don't have. I probably have one. Oh, you do? In my toolbox. Okay. Let's go look. No. Okay, I'll go look. This is my toolbox, you guys. <laughs> Think that's what he's after? Is this what you're after? Yes, but that's a little big. Is that the only one you got? Because that's not gonna, that's not gonna work. It's too big. Guys, I legit just found a smaller one. Let's go see. It's still kind of big. I just woke up, so excuse how I look and sound. But I do, I have really bad allergies this morning. But Devin and I are going to mount the pods in my car and then we're also gonna put my access port in my car as well. It smells like corn. I wanted to update you on my new low weigh-in this morning before I end up the video. I'm officially 10 pounds down, which is originally what I said I wanted to lose. So from last week to this week, I've lost two pounds, which is like right on schedule. And I started at 148 pounds, I'm 138. I'm assuming I might lose like one to two more pounds before Hawaii, but I'm excited that I reached my goal. I feel a lot smaller. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for following this video along. Remember hit the like button, the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.